Have you ever played the sound game? Let me explain how you can play. Find a friend and blindfold them. Make sure they can't see a thing. No peeking. Then make some different sounds from things you find around your compound and see if they can guess what the sounds are. What a fun game! You can try that at home with your friends and family. There are many different sounds and they're made in many different ways. We hear sounds because of vibrations. Vibrating means moving very fast. Let's shake ourselves very fast. Let's get an education about vibrations. I'm going to bang my drum. Can you hear that powerful sound? Now watch as I'm going to put some rice on the drum. And as I bang the drum, observe very carefully what happens to the rice. See how it moves and vibrates? The same thing is happening to the air around the drum. Air is made up of lots of tiny particles that you cannot see, that we call molecules. If something makes a sound, like my drum, it vibrates the air molecules close to it, causing them to vibrate. Let me take the rice off my drum and bang it again. Now, as we look at my drum as I bang it, we know that the bang is making air molecules that we can't see to vibrate. Once a sound starts, a few molecules vibrating knock into more molecules and the vibration is passed on making the molecules next to the molecule to vibrate too. This continues and the process is called a sound wave. If the sound wave reaches our ears, it hits something we call the eardrum and that vibrates, sending messages to the brain. And we can recognize that sound as beautiful music, noisy traffic, or your mom calling you that it's lunchtime. You cannot see these sound waves or vibrations, but if you're hearing a sound, you know that there are air molecules vibrating, and there's a process of a sound wave. When the source of the sound wave is far away, the sound wave has to travel farther. As the sound wave travels, the vibrations become less and less. So by the time it reaches your ear and brain, the sound seems quieter than if the source of the sound is right next to you when the sound waves have less distance to travel. 